Hey, it's Marin again, back this time in the Hub Culture Studios here with Lady Miriam from I Am The Code. How are you doing today? I am good. I'm so honored to talk to you. Oh, I'm honored to talk to you. Is this your first Davos or have you been no, here? No, I've been here for many times. Okay. How is this one different than the past Davos is, minus the fact that we're here in May? It's May, but at the same time, today is just amazing because the girls, I work with young refugee girls all across the world, but today they had a chance to be seen in big screens, but also they had a podcast. Um, so their voices have been heard. Yeah. And that makes me a bit emotional. Yeah. What are you look, looking forward to most later on in Davos? I think I'm going, going back to the Congress Center, but I think today the fact that the girls uh, enjoy the podcast, you know, how culture has featured them, you know, they spoke to Edi Lash, you know, it's really, really amazing. Yeah. Um, it's, just, it's just so emotional because no one knows where Kakuma is. It's so far away, it's a refugee camp. You know, one of the largest in Africa, um, girls are there struggling, they don't have Wi-Fi, they know TikTok, you know, they may know you, <laughs> but they may, you know, they will, they just, I mean, this is a massive opportunity, even to talk to a role model like you, hopefully this will make them happy today. Every time I go to Kakum, I just want the girls to be happy. Yeah. Just wake up and know that I made their day. And so I think today, um, sorry, I'm being emotional, but I just know today we made their day. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the important thing, is that impact that you can have on people. We're happy to do it. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that surprised you about the experience this time around in Davos? I think the fact that we've been talking about Ukraine refugees quite a lot, uh, but I think people are kinder. I think they want to listen a bit more. There's a difference between what happened during COVID-19 and I think now. Um, I, I think people really are into listening more. They want to listen. They want to understand what's happening. I think COVID has really demonstrated that we're living in a world that is not fair. Uh, you know, having over 7,000 girls living in Kakuma who don't have access to internet, don't have access to things, you know, uh, it's very difficult. But, you know, also having people giving us platforms to, you know, to do this, it's uh, hopefully people will know Kakuma today by you. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. I think that learning about that has made an impact on me and what I got to learn today. Um, very important question. What is your zodiac sign? Virgo. <laughs> Same here. I love it. I love it. And I love the blue and the yellow. And it's just, you look so gorgeous. So honored to meet you as well. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for featuring the girls. I think what you have done today is really amazing. Kakumo Refugee Camp is such a big, big camp and, and thank you. I'm, I'm so honored. And thank you for giving them a platform. Of course, of course.